Following the aftermath of the recent Israel-Gaza military conflict, several Jewish groups throughout the world are taking part in demonstrations to express their solidarity with Israel. In Brussels, over a thousand people met at the Justice Palace to do just that. A number of Jewish groups were present, including the European Jewish Parliament, the Coordination of Jewish Organizations in Belgium, and the European Jewish Congress. Joel Rubenfeld, co-chairman of the European Jewish Parliament, describes the purpose of the demonstration. It's uh, to show the global picture. Israel has friends in Brussels, Israel has friends in Europe, and those friends today are gathered just front of the Court of Justice to say that the justice is on the side of Israel. Simon Bretels set up the demonstration by creating a page on Facebook. He said he was overwhelmed by the number of people, Jewish and non-Jewish, who came to support a cause that is very important to him. For me, it's really important, not only for me, but for a lot of uh, people uh, from the same age. It's quite important to show our full support to the, the only democratic state in, is in uh, the Middle East, Israel. All Jews of Europe are, feel this strong solidarity and this need to, to say stop terrorism, stop sending rockets on Israel. Israel has the right to defend itself. The demonstration was attended by representatives of a range of communities and political affiliations. Members of Belgium's Parti Populaire and the Brussels Regional Parliament also attended. We gather here today Jewish and non-Jewish people. We have people, uh, also Arab people, that are here today. We have just now the representative of the Protestant Church who is speaking. And it's very important to see that there is a, you know, a, a, a broad uh, uh, gathering of people coming from different uh, 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 groups and uh, who are supporting Israel very strongly. Israel is, of course, the right if not the right, even not the right, the obligation to defend itself, defend its citizen. And unfortunately, it has been denounced by many parties, there is a terrible bias in the media, a lack of balance uh, in the coverage of uh, the, the, this action. So it's important uh, for us to show a solidarity. Too often, many politicians choose between two uh, realities, between two uh, endangered populations, between two... Um, unrest I will say and so it is important that both messages can be expressed freely in this country and this is what happened today. This week in all countries they organized similar rallies without more people, less people but with a lot of, of success and a lot of support. At the same time as I'm talking to you there is the same rally in Prague for example. It's very important to, to, to send also this message to the European institution, to the Belgian politician, that uh, people, uh, 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 Belgian citizen, European citizen, uh, uh, are very supportive of the right of Israel to defend its own situation. I'm very pleased to see that much more people came than uh, uh, I expected. Uh, we were probably 1,500 people, which is a, a very important number. That means that. Uh, Israel means something for the Jewish community, it means more than something. It's vital for them to know that Israel is in security. All who attended today's demonstration hope that the current ceasefire will translate into permanent peace for the people of Israel. Here on the steps of the Justice Palace, it's clear that the Jewish community in Brussels are in full support of Israel. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in Brussels.